everyone and welcome so glad to have you here i'm jennifer and you're watching scrapbooks and memories today i have this really cute pocket recipe album to share with you it is eight and a half by five and a half with a two and a half inch spine so pretty one of my goals this year is to create only recipe albums one every month so this is the first one up this year I'm so excited because it came together in just a couple days and I really love a quick and fun easy project this one has four signature pages it also has a floating spine which that is a new skill for me each of the pocket pages here can hold at least three recipe cards, which is really nice. So the whole album can hold 30 plus. We have a cute close up. I love this paper, it's so pretty. It's full of little form animals and flowers. And I just love flowers. Anything with flowers, I'm gonna buy it pretty much. So here are the pocket pages where you can also add your recipe cards or written down recipes to the middle as well as the pockets on the front. So tons of space in this little album for lots of recipe cards. For this album, I did use only a half a pack of a mega pad of Echo Park's Sunflower Market collection. So I still had half a pack of this collection uh, paper pad that I used on another album that I'm going to be showing you guys this coming Saturday. So please like and subscribe to stay tuned for that. I did get pretty creative with the embellishments here because I didn't have um, like the collection of the ephemera or anything to choose from. All this was fussy cut out of the paper pad itself and the extra papers that I set aside just to fussy cut and make these little embellishments. And then I saved my scraps from this album to make embellishments for the album that you will see on Saturday. Another skill I recently learned is the lay flat uh, method of putting your base album together and look how flat it actually lays. You can see my cover, my spine, and the back cover. Here I'm just showing that I layered everything up and did some dimensional dots and things to give some dimension and pop up. And then on the back here, I went ahead and put a beautiful butterfly and all these little ephemeras did not come with the collection i used that from the uh, paper studio thank you so much for joining me in today's video and i would really like it if you would join my community group on facebook i'm hosting an atc swap and i'd love for you to join